go thrifting at the Salvation Army. the haul after this last thrifting adventure my husband and I went on a little vacation and we can't pass up going to thrift stores when we're out and about so I stopped at a Salvation Army as you saw and there was so much false graph it was amazing um, not some of like the pictures and stuff like that just some plates and dinnerware but very affordable and then I got quite a bit of clothes it, at one thrift store it was fill a bag for a dollar they actually it was free um, thrift store but they asked for a donation of a dollar we gave more than that um, of course so I got some fun clothing items to resell and to keep and then I stopped at my parents' thrift store in their small town as they watched our girls for a vacation and picked up a few clothing items again for myself to resell and just a few other pieces. So let's jump in with the decor first. Okay, so first off, I have a couple baskets. This one you probably saw me look at at the Salvation Army for pots. I don't know, I just like that lighter wicker. And I didn't have a price on it and they asked $1.99 and I said, I'll take it for 99 cents. And they did. So just a cute little basket for plants. And then the other basket here is adorable. Isn't that just so sweet? Um, and the leather handle, I just, I couldn't pass it up for paying $7.99. Um, it's a little more than I usually would pay for a basket, 
but I really liked it. I thought it would go well for kids' toys on shelves, for our little house and storing things on a shelf, um, at our house for decor. You all know I love baskets, and if you're new, I love baskets. So I always pick up baskets, especially these lighter colored baskets. I really, really like that. And the leather handle, that was a must. So that was really cute find. Okay, to some of the other items. I have a friend who is looking for Corelware, and so each plate was 99 cents. It has the vintage floral, um, I wanna say mustard colored pattern on the side. I just got two of those. And then I just got, it has a gray on the outside, gray line, uh, Corel bowls for 99 cents a piece as well. And she, I don't think she cared how much they really were. So I got those for her and I know she'll be excited to have those. I have some Corel wear too and I love them for kids. They're really handy to have. Okay, and then I also got these candlesticks. They're a little dirty, but I thought I could wipe them off. These two for 50 cents. I have some gold candle holders that I really like that I needed to restock some white candles with. And I've been looking at all the thrift stores and they're all like red and green and purple, just not colors I want. I want white or yellow or something like that. So 50 cents for these two. Then this ribbon was at my local thrift store. It was 50 cents for this pretty full spool of um, white ribbon. I like decorating gifts with white or I thought again for Christmas next year using white ribbon to decorate with. I did that this last year. So kind of just nice to think ahead for decorating and what I might want things for, especially for 50 cents. Okay, then at my parents' sister store again, I found these beautiful decorative plates. They are Courier and Ives. They are the all, for, all the four seasons. Like this one, for instance, is winter in the country, the old grist mill. So beautiful. It already has the hanging. Um, there were four for a dollar a piece, but I asked for $2 for all of them. And they were very willing to let me pay $2 for all of them. This summer one is beautiful this spring one. Now I don't know if I'll put them all up at once or just like rotate them out per season. We'll see. But so beautiful and so fun to find um, decorative Courier and Ives plates like that. All right to my fault scrap I found. So this plate and cup was 50 cents. I got two of these. Very beautiful. They'll go on either the built-in behind me or on my little shelves in my kitchen um, on the edge there. So I got two of those. And then there were multiples of these bowls. They're just kind of beat up. They were 50 cents a piece. But they're really scratched on the inside and outside. So I need to figure out a way to get that clean. But I don't have the space for six of them. So I really only did get two. But they're just so beautiful. And I really was excited to find some of this more um, heritage collection as well. The last photograph piece, this nice large bowl, was 99 cents. Oh, I didn't tell you these were 50 cents. Maybe I did tell you that, but this large bowl for a dollar. So Salvation Army seems to know their clothing prices. They overprice some of their clothes, but for dishware, um, I thought these were really well priced um, and uh, very affordable for 99 cents. I couldn't pass that up. So very beautiful, so glad to have found a few more pieces to add to some of my collection. All right, also at my parents' local thrift store, these vintage handmade aprons. I thought they were so cute. Um, I've actually sold some of these on Facebook Marketplace. So if you're interested, let me know. This one's a purple with some embroidered, darker purple and white with one pocket. And this is a red one with some you call that riffraff up on the top of the ear and at the bottom just kind of fun um, and I like having those actually I have a few on hand as well that I have but I will probably list these these each were 75 cents so pretty affordable for those aprons to the clothes all right so this may take a little while I'm gonna kind of cruise through so I've been looking for things for spring potentially for myself as I am a different size now than I was 
last year, obviously, because I was pregnant, had a little girl. So this is like a jumper dress. It's a little short, maybe. So it's um, like suede material, green, olive green or hunter green. It's the brand ASU Wish. It is a size too big, but again, this was, this was in the fill-up bag, so I didn't want to pass it up because I thought that was really cute. Um, would be great with just a long sleeve and some boots here this winter still, short sleeve, and um, of course I have to wear something under because it's a little bit short, but I think these are really cute. This is more of a workout tank, not tank, workout t-shirt here. It is like a mauve, color it's a 90 degree by reflex brand just a nice t-shirt for summer gardening stuff like that it has a little slit there on the side and if I don't wear it my sister a couple of my sisters kind of live in workout clothes I don't but they do these were a steal I was so excited to see these they're a Calvin Klein brand um, performance they are an extra small so they might be a little bit small but they're stretchy uh, they're capris so if i don't keep them they would sell so and they are nice because they have pockets and just kind of more of a not quite so workout looking capri and they're black so they could pass as semi-dressy so all these have been in that fill a bag this is just a button down um, denim shirt but it has a tie at the top and it's got a little ruffle on the front so a little bit more for that spring season I would say might have to iron that to keep it down but bun down's great because it's nursing friendly so I thought that was really cute and we would be great for the spring season I got rid of my denim dress because it was too small so I found this one a darker wash it is the brand CI Sono just a darker wash denim dress. It does have a belt loop, so I might have to find one of my belts to belt it up. This is just a vest I actually found and wanted because we were out hiking and it was just like a little bit too hot for a winter coat, but too cold to not wear something. So I actually wore it when we were out hiking on our um, little vacation. So it's called, or it's a natural reflections brand. It's got a pocket so that was handy for out hiking I don't know if I'll keep this because I already have two black vests in my collection okay so that was it for the fill a bag clothes and these next ones were at my parents local thrift store this I will sell it is an Under Armour hoodie zip down size medium um, it was three dollars so I'll be putting that on marketplace got some nice pockets no wear on it I just thought that was really nice um, and these sell well for me. I had an Under Armour zip up of my own that I actually resold so I know this will do well on Marketplace. This is a Columbia vest, another black vest. This is not for me to keep. I thought I would resell it. It's so, so soft. It's got a nice pocket, a really nice leather zipper. It's a size medium, like I said, Columbia. So if ever you're interested in these clothes <laughs> that I'm not going to keep, let me know. So uh, I think that will be a good resale item as well. This is for me, possibly, or a friend who's due very soon because it is a nursing top, just long sleeve gray top. This was a dollar. And so I thought that would be kind of handy to wear around the house. It's kind of like the same texture as the shirt I have on. It's hoodie. Um, not sure the brand. So I just thought that would be handy again for nursing. Nursing friendly shirts are always a, a nice thing to have. Okay, last piece. This I think I will keep. So I don't know the brand. This person put... <laughs> bunch of stickers on it so it's just a nice oversized maroon sweater I've been going through sweaters because I keep finding that they either end up having rips in them or tears they are, um, are snagging so this was I think a dollar fifty so it's really I think it's wool to be honest and I wool is so nice because we still have we still have some winter left in South Dakota here 
so it's definitely it was made in china i'm not sure oh it is more acrylic acrylic and polyester not wool but it's nice and thick so that's handy for having around the house because i get so chilled or going out in the spring with just a sweater when it's a little bit um, chilly out so i thought that would be nice to have but there is my pretty massive thrift haul and it was really fun to go out and of course since we didn't have the girls we could just do some perusing and thrifting so i hope you enjoyed seeing what i found and also just watching the snippets here and there of what i got to see at salvation army so give this video a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet i'd love to have you join my youtube community here i do videos such as these simple living homemaking videos and motherhood so hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day i'll talk with you in the next one Bye.